lot of women go through this thing. Yeah. It's either you are a respectable member of the community, yeah. you are the police or you are a politician or you whatever. That's true. But you see women going through these things yeah. and always doing their best to protect yeah. the image of this particular person. Yeah. In fact, even the, the members of the, the church as well, yeah. how do you then have a confidence in a leader like that <laughs> who just goes out and worships uh, domestic violence? You know what? Um, not all, but some of the members of the church are hypocr hypocrites themselves. Let me tell you the gap that I discovered in the church through my experience is that as a woman going through challenges, mm. instead of being embraced, because you are mm. what divorce. Yes. Yeah, because I mean divorce it's 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 seen as like the work you of are the a girl, failure. You're a failure. You're because half the time people don't walk away from their relation their marriages because of that you are afraid what people are gonna say about you. Exactly. The the church batloko apula se aparob and they will put you there to go and serve your sentence because you were disobedient, because you get labeled in so many way, mm. ways. Where in, in, instead, in fact, the church is supposed to embrace and give you counseling. Yes. But what happens is the very same women in the church, instead of embracing you and protecting you and comforting you as a woman, in fact, yeah. or, or, or any, anything that they will use to perpetrate patriarchy to... as women to other women, abuse from women to other women and make use of the laws and the, 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 mm. the, as I said, so, doing, so that you can be punished even worse than the way you are. It's, it's now that you're talking, you're talking about a very interesting thing that uh, women also have a hand in this. Yeah. Uh, how would you then, you know, like looking at it, because do you think then that undermines the efforts that uh, some of the, you know, strong feminism um, rhetorics that have been passed over the years uh, to saying, Women need to be independent exactly. in all forms, actually. So, uh, very briefly, I know you, you you have a show with us and you're going to take us through all these facets yeah. around uh, what you want to do. I mean, w w tell us about the show mm. and the, the work that is going to be done under the, the theme that you've discovered. Okay. What's um, the name of the show? So, <laughs> the name of the show is Women arise with power. Okay, and interesting. The reason is because I was once a broken woman yes. who arose with power. And I took control of myself, took control of my life, my thoughts, my actions, and decided to apply some things into my life, including forgiveness, forgiveness of the people who have hurt me, mm -hmm. in order for me to find myself in a space of sanity, the space of tranquility, so that when I start with this, these other programs I've been doing, and this particular one, it, 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 women arise with power, yes. so that I can show women that it's not a shame to go through challenges. Mm. Mm. We and can use our personal stories to heal other people. Because you don't have to stay uh, another day or two, just walk. I mean, would you advise people to, to walk after maybe, let's say you've been married, uh, I divorced after f like within a 16 months yeah. of my marriage. Yeah. And a lot of people criticized me for that. Yeah. But I, I felt it was not going to change. Yeah. Would you encourage more p women to do the same? Or it depends on the... Listen, um, if you understand that you deserve better and you know that that space is toxic, not only for you, for your sanity, for your purpose, for your talent, for the little self, you know, your young self that you dreamt of things and your, your dreams became bashed yes. and eradicated and wiped away because of this person's presence in your life. And you see that your life is at stake. And not only that, you don't want to be there only for the sake of the kids, the kids because yes. it's very dangerous. But some people raise... stay even when there are no kids. Mamela, 
people stay because they lack something. They lack knowledge of themselves. They lack the self-mastery skills. Mm. They lack the healing and consciousness that they can become more and achieve more out of the familiar space. You know, I want, I want us to talk about this. This is very important. We're living in, a, in an era now yeah. that is very social media driven. You people meet on social media. Yeah. The next day they are in love. Mm -hmm. Then two days, two weeks later, the one one is dead. How would? What's your message for women on that one? Because uh, these are realities that we see every day. Women should not be desperate. A relationship is not an achievement. Mm. Women should learn to know and understand first of all what is it that I want for my life. And here's another mistake that is being made by women. We feel that we'll be completed by men and still carry our trash within ourselves mm. and think that mang meter ulieto, then uzongenzela yonkindo and my life will be better. And men also know that and that they use that as an approach. Exactly. Yes. And only to find out which ulieto will be dealing with a woman who's acting trashy, who will in turn come back to Lieto and say Lieto is trash because she could not get what she was looking for mm. out of Lieto. But, okay, that is also not always the case. Mm. If a woman you understand, which now that I'm healed, I understand the space that I'm in and I know my purpose and I know what I want to do, but I've got no money. Yes. I mean, that's why it's Nabusol Inspiration Global, our company and other organizations like Abopoa and other enterprise developments and fellowships mm. that will then cultivate you uh, as a woman in order for you no matter what you get a good relationship but because you've got love to give, to give yes. you have forgiven and there is you are energy at peace. in that there's beautiful positive energy Indeed, and yes. when Lieto comes to me and he gets into a relationship with me then Lieto will then be able to have this thing of getting a woman who's not broken but a woman who's healed but if you are a Lieto who's broken and think what you play a woman who's already found herself you are in for a yeah, high jump so now yeah, and that's what we struggle with <laughs> you know this is going to be an exciting show when is this what what, what what, when, when is the show? When does it start? Yes. So the show will be starting on the 5th of February. Okay. Sorry, 5th of, 5th of, yeah, yeah 5th of Feb. Feb yes. Yeah, 5th of Feb. On which day of the week? Uh, it will be on Wednesdays, 6 p.m. at that peak time. I just urge women and men and our youth to watch the show and hear from experiences painful experiences of women who were once broken mm -hmm. and who decided to take their power back and they're doing incredible things in the communities. As in Tabu, we can't wait to watch the show. I mean, I mean I'm you. excited. The topic is rich Thank and you. with the projects that you do as well, I mean, it's going to be an exciting project. Thank you so much for joining us here on Sorti TV. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, bon.